Hello everyone, welcome to another data analytics video by Slidescope. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to create a very simple space mission analysis dashboard as you are seeing here. So here we have mission by company, missions by location, total number of missions, success rate of each mission, total number of companies in the data set and count of rockets. If you will select any particular mission you will see how many rockets are used the success rate number of missions and so on similarly country wise so this is this will work as a filter for you you can add other filters as per your requirement as well so let's begin and see how something like this can be created in power bi so this is the space mission file and in this file the first thing is company name and the location and here and this is mission so every row here represents some mission was mission a uh, success or not so its mission status is given what type of rocket was used for this mission so name of that rocket is there so year and time of launch is given if available the price is also given and so these are the columns so on the basis of this we are going to create a very simple dashboard we will simply read the data in power bi which is a csv file so connect the csv file when data is read make sure the headers are appearing properly here so in our case yes it is appearing obviously in case of time and price we have some missing values so for analysis we will not be using most of them so first we are going to create a simple card here and in the card we are going to simply put how many missions are there and for that we have mission and we will take it to field and here we will count this thing so this is 4555 total missions and here we will simply go to title or even if we have the visual so we will disable the category label and enable the title and call it missions align it to center there is one more way uh, you can add obviously in if you enable the category label so you can rename the category label for this visual so hashtag missions there is number of missions you can say and then your category label setting is something that you can do and color everything you can choose so we'll be choosing this color and for call out value also we are going to choose something like this so this is total number of missions and let's remove this obviously we can uh, give this some kind of shadow effect next is uh, the mission is status so from the data you can see mission status is either 1 or 0 so we will simply paste it and here we are going to use the mission status this is showing us sum of mission status we will put average here okay so average is 0 0.90 that is the mission success rate in the entire data set is around 90 percent now we will try to create a calculated field for this obviously we can do it here also like by multiplying it but uh, here go to modeling tab new measure and we will call it success rate and here we will use average of 
mission status okay and format we are going to use as a percentage so when you use as a percentage let's let's come in and success rate is created let's get rid of this and drag this view so now you have the 89.93 the exact percentage of success rate here in the setting of call out value for this if you want to keep let's say 90 percent you can value the decimal places otherwise you can leave it like that okay this is a simple example so this is total number of missions and this is success rate of missions similarly to achieve this success rate for space missions how many companies and how many rockets have been used we are going to count that so for this we will instead of success rate we will write company and count distinct because one company can launch different missions okay so this is count of company and here we'll rename for this visual as simply companies okay so 62 companies have launched 4555 missions with a success rate of 90 percent and for every mission a rocket is used so here you can see cosmos 3m and mission name is also like Vostok 2m soyuz m okay uh, if we use the company as isro so instead of select all let's select isro and see so here you can see we have gslv mk2 gslv g this type of rockets so obviously uh, uh, different companies have different rockets and here we are just going to use count of rockets so this rocket and same thing count distinct which so 370 rockets have been used okay. the next metric that we are going to see is company wise mission count okay for that we will just put it here and we are going to use the clustered bar chart in clustered bar chart we are going to use on the x axis we are going to use the company name and here we will just press mission and count of distinct mission okay so this is company wise mission Just a minute. Yeah, so we already have the data. So this is count of company, count distinct. Okay. So demo flight, test flight, aura, and here we have we have to swap this to get the proper data. So now it is correct. So this is company on y axis, and you can see. RBSN USSR has 1777 missions. Now we are going to style this. Obviously, on y axis, we have some values. We can resize them. And let's make it bold in color, bold in font style. And on x axis, we have minimum and maximum range and value okay so we also have color for x axis we will make it bold and title is also something we will make bold title text we can write count of missions is okay and when you will go to bar setting you have a blue color so we can use a different type of color for example this color okay or maybe this but whatever color you use let's say we will use a, a 
dark, let's use this color. Whatever color you are going to use, the main thing is here you can use the function also. So format style will call it gradient. On the basis of count of machine, summarization will be count. Let's say the lowest value will have a gray color and highest value will have this yellow color. Just giving an example. So this way you will see a data like this. Okay, this is count of mission by company. Okay. So here you can see the legend is on. That is it is representing data from 0k to 1.7k. We can turn it off. Okay. And what we can do we can enable the data labels so that we can see the value here in data labels you have series overflow text this type of settings are there position is inside so you can write it inside also outside and it was already there inside center whatever suits you you can select okay so let's select inside outside end so that we are seeing for other companies also and here we are just going to go to general tab title and we'll simply call it for our visual we are going to use some image like this uh, which we have created from chat GPT or we can use some image like this in the mid uh, representing any astronaut you can go to insert and select image so we have the image so either we can use this image or some other image for example something like this now in our graph we will just go to general tab effects and enable a shadow for it so this is mission by company and we also have another categorical data and that data is mission by country so here we will just replace country with a company with country since we don't have the country value directly so either we can use uh, you know power query to get country data from it or what we can do we can bring y axis and location axis mission we can simply turn it into a map chart in map chart location will be your location and here you have the values like location and count of missions okay so here in the bubble size we have count of missions and here we can simply resize this so that we have the entire view of the map with the help of canva we just created a simple looking heading for our visual since that heading is a image we will just go to insert tab and insert the image let's fit the image because this image is important so we can go to format and bring forward and similar to our images color let's try to adjust this a little bit the font color code used in the font is 5C290A and similarly we can choose bubble color here also So here also we will create a gradient and the highest color will be the code that we just copied. So this way we have a simple data. We can also choose different type of map like grayscale, road or aerial, whatever you prefer. So I will select a light mode here. 
So this is a very simple space mission analysis dashboard obviously created for beginners. Here all these company names are interactive. So if you want to see any particular data you can select accordingly. And in the second part of this series we will try to fix the locations also. This is a very simple dashboard that you can also try and create as per your uh, creativity. You can also bring other filters here by using the slicers. You can bring filters like you know rocket status, price wise, mission wise. You can put slicers as filters in this particular project. And one more thing that you have to make sure is if you are using an image as a heading. So in that case, uh, in your format option, select the graphs and bring them forward. Okay. So I will bring this forward. Otherwise, it will hide behind the image. Also here, we have to change the title. It is showing mission by company. So it will be titled as mission by location. So this will be our title. 